So there's some somewhat breaking news now. It came out last night, September 24th. I found out about this morning, but it looks like the writer's strike might actually be coming to an end. And that's good for all parties involved. It says here, deal. WGA and AMPTP reach historic contract agreement to end 146-day rider strike. This deal is exceptional. So, first of all, I didn't even realize it had been 146 days. It felt more like three months. But it definitely was more than that. Now, uh, I want to go into this article here from Variety. Uh, in case you didn't know, the, the story here is all about AI. So, it says here, Hollywood heaves sigh of relief. The WGA and major studios and streamers have reached a tentative agreement on a new three-year contract that promises to end the 146-day strike that has taken a heavy toll across the content industry. Which is true because so many movies got postponed and so many projects were put on hold. This is good for everyone. Negotiators for the Writers Guild of America and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers reached a finish line Sunday after five consecutive days of negotiations. Day four on Saturday mostly involved lawyers for the Guild and AMPTP hashing out the fine print of language around complicated and groundbreaking additions to the WGA's minimum basic agreement. The nitty-gritty details on language around the use of generative AI in content production was one of the last items that the sides worked on before closing the pact. So the whole thing here is that studios were stating that, or it was at some point discussed, they were going to switch over to having AI write scripts. And they were going to have AI do work that would have um, taken the jobs of many writers. Now... While AI is a very interesting thing and, and something that's been really the top the topic of conversation for the past year, the idea of replacing a human with an AI just to cut costs, I think for writing is silly because even though AI can compile information and AI could probably maybe down the road, I'm not saying right now, but maybe down the road it could write competent stories. I don't think you're ever going to touch on the creativity of a person. <clears throat> you have to remember, the way things are right now with AI, like computers, <coughs> excuse me, computers are really good at doing mathematical equations and putting together numbers and things like that at this rapid rate of, of growth. You know, that's what they're best at. But being creative might not necessarily be something that they can really hit on. But... In theory, once AI kind of figures out how to tell a story, the whole thing is, why do we need writers? And that's a slap in the face of the people who have literally built your empire. You need writers to write stories. You need writers to write jokes. You need writers to work on television and movies and all of entertainment, even comedy. So that's kind of what I've been hearing the whole thing's really been centered around. I'm sure there's more to it than just that. But the uh, they went on strike, man. And, and whenever you have a group come together like this, the results can be pretty surprising. So let's move on. It says here, we can say with great pride that the deal is exceptional with the meaningful gains and protection from writers in every sec sector of the membership. The WGA's negotiating committee wrote in an email sent to members at 7, 10 p.m. The strike itself will still be enforced through the guild contract approval and ratification process, but picketing has been suspended as of Sunday night. That's good. They can all go home now. Guild leaders are expected to vote on Tuesday on whether to formally lift the strike order against AM PTP signatures. To be clear, no one is to return to work until specifically authorized to by the guild. We are still on strike until then, the message to members stated. So if you're a writer... You, you, you're told not to go back to work. Don't just take the writing gigs that you're offered. Don't just jump back into it. Instead, wait. Let's see where it goes. Details of the contract agreement won't be released until the final language is completed over the coming days. WGA leadership expects to vote on Tuesday on the final pact. First, the negotiating committee will vote on whether the recommend whether to recommend that the deal go to a vote of the board of the WGA West and Council of the WGA East, 
Assuming both of those votes approve the pact, the contract will be sent out for ratification by the WGA's 11,000 members. Though we are eager to share the details of what has been achieved with you, we cannot do that until the last I is dotted, the message to members stated. To do so would complicate our ability to finish the job, so as you have been patient with us before, we ask you to be patient again one last time. So that's good. I mean, that hopefully this will get resolved. Um, there's a little bit more information here that, you know, it talks about the whole work stoppages, which was May 12th, May 2nd, I'm sorry. And that's what I'm saying. May 2nd was about four or five months ago, but it really felt like it was only about three. Maybe the story just didn't catch on that fast. But um, yeah, ultimately that is the story. That it looks like we're close to getting it lifted and that's going to be good because then we can get back to producing and finishing these projects and getting them out and then people can enjoy entertainment again instead of having to wait. Ultimately, man, I don't think any computer should or could ever replace a creative job. You can use AI to replace other jobs and I'm sure people will and already have and I'm not really 100% on board with that either because people are going to end up being in trouble financially over this. But to replace a writing job, a creative job, that's a bit more difficult than one would think. Anyways, y'all, those are my thoughts. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's see where this goes.